Not sure if the meat you purchased is the real deal? Well, you can detect food fraud at home using the Life Scanner Kit, developed by researchers at the University of Guelph. CTV Zane Jenna spoke with the developers today, and Zane, they say there's all kinds of uses for this kit. Megan, if you think your meat contains something else, it's very easy to find out and share that information. But that's not all this kit can be used for. Using this life scanner kit is easy. Scan the barcode, take a picture, collect a sample of what you want to identify, and mail it to the University of Guelph. It goes into the lab, we extract the DNA from the tissue, and we sequence it, and then we identify it using uh, algorithms and a massive database that's been collected over the last 15 years. The kit developed four years ago. The Life Scanner team says it takes about five to eight business days to identify the sample. The results are sent straight to your phone. One of the kit's uses, detecting fraudulent or mislabeled meat. This works very much like a, a, a Yelp or TripAdvisor, where the information that's collected changes your buying habits. You're not going back to that restaurant if you found that you were cheated. The kit has also been used for scientific research. There was a group of girl guides in Kitchener-Waterloo that were using life scanner kits to collect insects in their camp area, and they found um, a species of wasp that no one had collected before. In places like New Zealand, San Diego, and northern Canada, users collected over 100 new species. Now that we have their DNA in this international database, if new uh, collections come in that have the same DNA, then we can tie that together and find out more about the life history of that organism. So whether you're dissecting your dinner plate or researching bugs in your backyard, the answer is a scan away. The Life Scanner team says they're hoping to partner with other labs and review sites to expand and make it more accessible worldwide. Megan? Interesting. Okay, thanks Zane.